On October 7th, Hamas militants launched a barrage of rockets from the blockaded Gaza Strip towards Israel as part of a surprise attack that has reignited the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Key to repelling these rockets is Israel's Iron Dome, a missile defense system that has become a cornerstone of the country's security since its initial deployment in 2011. Iron Dome was a local project that involved the Israeli armed forces and Rafael, so one of the biggest defense industries in Israel. The idea was to create a defense against rockets coming from Gaza. And since then, Iron Dome has been a major component of all the different conflicts uh, between Israel and Hamas or Israel and the Islamic Jihad in the Gaza Strip. The Iron Dome consists of three mobile elements, which can be deployed to different areas to intercept rockets from a range of between four kilometers and 70 kilometers. You have three components. Uh, you have the radar, that is uh, the one that will be detecting the coming rockets on Israeli territories. You have the interceptor, which is basically a missile which is launched to intercept the incoming rocket. And then finally you have, let's say, the software, the system, command control system that creates or sends the message from the radar to the interceptor. The sophisticated system has proven effective over the years, repelling over 90% of rocket attacks, according to Israeli officials. But still there is debate among experts over how successful it has been. So far, what the Israeli government has said is that the effectiveness of Iron Dome is pretty high. The question is, first, what does that interception rate exactly mean? There's the idea that Iron Dome only intercepts or destroys rockets which are considered to uh, threaten civilian urban areas. So if you have a rocket that is sent from Gaza to an unpopulated area in Israel, Iron Dome will not be activated. The other element to consider is that no matter how effective Iron Dome is in destroying uh, rockets, what we've seen in the last decade is that you still have major rocket attacks from Hamas on uh, Israeli territory. Hamas doesn't seem to be really deterred uh, by Iron Dome. Keeping the Iron Dome in action is an extremely costly operation, and it means Israel has had to partly rely on its longtime ally, the United States, to fund the system. Starting in 2016, the US and Israel considered that support to Israel's missile defense and in particular to the development and production of Iron Dome was a central part of the bilateral relationship. We're talking about something like $3 billion uh, over the last decade. And while the Iron Dome has undoubtedly protected the country's major urban centers, the system is not without limitations. At the end of the day, this is a military technology. This is not a strategy. It was a very good uh, solution to protect uh, the Israeli civilian areas, in particular in the south. But it does not provide a, a strategy as a whole to respond to the challenge of Hamas. I, I suspect that in coming days, uh, Hamas will be struggling to maintain its ability to fire uh, the same amount of rockets uh, on Israel. But then the question becomes, what if there's a regional escalation? If you have Hezbollah in Lebanon uh, starting to get involved in the conflict, Hezbollah has a, a much bigger firepower capability than uh, Hamas. Hezbollah could very quickly overwhelm Iron Dome. So that would be uh, the challenge. <laughs>